Have you ever thought to create a multi-level dependent drop-down list in Excel? You can use the indirect function in Microsoft Excel to create a multi-level dependent drop-down list, also known as cascading drop-down list. The indirect function allows you to create a dynamic cell or range reference instead of hard-coding them. For example, you can write some text in a cell, let's say it is G5. And in another cell, let's say in the cell address B5, you write the cell address of the cell where you have just entered some text. Now, you can use the indirect function to retrieve the content of the G5 cell by using its reference like this. We want to create a multi-level drop-down list for our Microsoft Excel form. The list will be consisted of country, state, and city. When a user selects a country from the drop-down list, the next drop-down list will be dynamically populated with the available states for the country. And when the user selects a state from the second drop-down list, Excel will automatically populate the third drop-down list with the available cities for the selected state. To create a multi-level drop-down list, first you need to create the item list for all the drop-down list controls. You may create the data list in the following structure. We have taken USA and Canada, the two countries for this example. You can take as many countries as you need, depending on the countries you have business with. Next, let's organize the state and the cities of the country accordingly. We have taken three states from each country and three cities for each state in this example. Again, depending on your business, you can take as many states and cities as you need. Next, we will create range reference for the state and cities. Highlight the states for the USA. In the name box, name the selected range as USA. Similarly, highlight the states in Canada. And in the name box, name the selected range as Canada. Next, you will select the cities for both countries and name them in the name box after the name of their states. If you click the name box, you will see named range are created. You can click any range name to see how clicking of a range name highlights the selected range. OK, you have just prepared the necessary data and the data range for the list. You are ready to create the drop-down list. You can create your multi-level drop-down list either in the same worksheet or in a different worksheet, but in the same workbook. For this demo, let's use the different worksheet. You can create your data entry form something like this. We will create three drop-down lists. One is to select a country. This will be the simplest one. Place the cell pointer next to the country as shown in the worksheet. Click Data tab and from the Data Tools group, click Data Validation. On the Data Validation dialog box, make sure you are in the Setting tab. Click the arrow drop down and select List. For the source, click the worksheet that contains your data. I have renamed my worksheet as data. So the source box will automatically pick up the worksheet name as the reference, followed by the list of the country that we will select. Click the OK button and the list is created. Next, you will create the drop down list that will depend on the current drop down list that you have just created. This drop down list will allow you to choose a state based on the country that you will select. To create the drop down list, let's select the cell next to the state. From the Data tab, click the Data Validation. Select List. And for the source, you will use the indirect function to dynamically populate the list. Type the indirect function followed by the equal sign, like this. For the parameter of the indirect function, click the cell address of the first drop-down list box. 
Make sure the cell address is not an absolute reference. The cell address should be contain a relative reference. So we will remove the dollar symbol to ensure that the cell address is a relative reference. It will help us to create our next dependent drop-down list with the drag and drop. Click OK button. With that, our first dependent drop-down list box will be created. We are almost done. To create our third level drop-down list, simply drag the second drop-down list that we have just created. With that, the drop-down list for the city will also be created. Let's test all the drop-down lists to check if they are synchronizing as per the plan. As you select a country in the first drop-down list, Excel automatically displays the states for the selected country. Similarly, when you select a state, Excel automatically displays the cities for the selected state. Alright guys, this is how you can create a multi-level drop-down list in Excel.